Hello from Clay next to sea on the North Norfolk coast. Last day of February, so thought I'd have a day fishing, or an afternoon I should say. High tide's in about two hours time, about five o'clock. Got two rods out at the minute. A new pen tidal, 10, no, 100 to 300 gram casting weight. A bit heavy, but do. Want it for just big baits, big weights. Hopefully big fish on it, but you never know. And the other one I got out is a pen Euro Surf got a couple of um, oiled black lug on them I've had in my bag for at least a year so I thought it's about time they got used up I just had them for emergency purposes but I got to the stage where I'm thinking I really think they ought to be used they're a bit mm, soft and squishy and not very nice at all but you never know might be good for dabs so uh, keep my fingers crossed anyway just put the first rods out so I think it's time for a cup of tea now get back to you later well a cup of tea and the biscuit didn't work at all not so much as a sniff of a bite. Brought both rods in, one with a pulley panel with a mackerel on it, hadn't been touched, but did swap the bait, put a new bait on. Nothing to lose with that. The one with the uh, oil black lug, hadn't been touched either, but rebaited that, stuck that out. See what happens this time. So in desperation, I've put a third rod out. This time though, with just um, two hook flapper, with um, just some bits of mackerel on and uh, we'll see what happens with that fingers crossed we'll get at least a bite anything would do so get back to you soon the third rod if anyone's interested is an Akios Fury 420 um, not my favorite rod I've only had it a little while but second time out it broke the middle section just folded over when I cast out so I uh, had to get a new middle section arguments with Akios they said I damaged it I said I hadn't and I'm certain I haven't but in the end I paid for a new section a reduced price so they told me anyway so I just use that now just small weights close in because I just don't trust it anymore but anyway I might catch a fish so if you catch a fish who cares Okay, I've uh, been here fishing here about an hour now. Change of baits a couple of times. Not so much a sniffer for fish. Um, black lug, I think I'll try adding some squid now that's, uh, that's, that's uh, no thawed out of here. <laughs> so I can cut that up and add a bit of squid on to see whether that is a tip bait, see whether that makes any difference. Um, hopefully so. Disappointed the cup of tea didn't work. There you go. An hour till high tide. Will I get anything? Who knows? It's only last day of February. The sea's pretty cold. I haven't heard of much being caught, so I'm not holding out a lot of luck. Holding out for a lot of luck, I should say. So, but you never know. Always got to be an optimist because you never know what's out there. Something may just turn up. I think we're stupid sitting there on the beach, but there you go. Well, saved a blank. A lovely little dab, look. All of what? 18 centimetres. Wow, huge. But it's not a blank. That's good. More to come, miss.
Keep the fingers crossed. Things are looking up. Brought in that dab and then brought in the other one with the, the other two hook flapper. There's a double shot, a little white in. So things are really looking up now, getting enthusiastic now. Right, okay, now we're going. Three fish, one after the other, couldn't believe it. Brought in one just to change bait, little dab, whoopee. And then brought in the other one with the, the other two hook flapper and uh, two little white on that as well. Didn't know I had any of them, but that dumped out. I avoided the dreaded blank. I didn't like to say it before, but I haven't, don't think I've ever blanked here. But I thought if I say that, you know what's going to happen, don't you? But anyway, we've avoided it and we've got fish. Hooray! Just to celebrate, I'm going to have another cup of tea. Right, okay, made a cup of tea. None of this horrible stuff out of the flask for me. You've got to have it fresh. Anyway, a nice fresh cup of tea, caught some fish, sitting on the beach. In the beach shelter, out of the wind. It's not cold. It's not dark yet. It's not raining, which is a bonus because it said on my watch it was going to start raining at past three, but it's now gone up past four and it's not rain. So everything's just marvellous at the moment. One thing I did forget to mention: I was sitting here a little while ago and watching the seagulls fly by, and. Uh, and one fly into one of my lines. I thought I was going to have to rescue it because it sort of caught up in the line and tumbled down into the sea. And I thought that was actually going to get completely wound up in the line, but fortunately it managed to free itself and it won't win. But uh, never had that happen before. So there's a first. Double shot of whiting! Yippee! Well, that looks a decent sized one too. Right, these two whiting, a decent sized ones, quite plump. These two have met the priest, gave them their last rites, told them they're going to be a lovely meal. 
and then the priest dispatched them. And another white in. Not keeper this time, a little bit too small. So with no further ado, I'll get him back. Well, another dab. I'm certain this one's a dab. So don't know how many I caught now. A few. But the trouble is I start to rain again now, so getting a bit miserable and a bit dark. Right, another little dab. But uh, it's getting a bit wet and miserable now and it's getting dark. I'm supposed to have had my tea, but it's half past six and I haven't got around to doing it yet. I've packed away one of the rods. So I think what I might do is I'll just cast this flapper out once more start tidying up and I'll get home and uh, I'll have my tea at home I think. I just went to uh, put some more bait on what I didn't realise I actually had two dabs on the, on the two hook flapper. It's only a diddy little thing, but uh, all fish are appreciated. I'll now go and put him back. Right, okay. It's raining now. It's 20 to seven. Um, I just cast out the two hook flappers for the last time. I haven't had tea. I think what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna, it's still raining. It's pretty miserable now. So I've had quite a successful day. I've been pleased with it. Caught a few fish couple of keepers in the in the whiting department but uh, it's pretty it's a bit miserable now so I think what I'm gonna do like I say I'll cast those last those two rods out give that in 10 minutes and then I'll get them in and uh, pack up and get home and then have my tea so it's been a corbel day cheerio everyone yeah. one more dab one more rod to reel in and then I'm packing up. Right, back in the car now. Well, let's go look to see what the time was. Uh, 20 to 8. Changed my glasses to a good one, which are now steaming up. So uh, I shall wait a few minutes for it and drive home. But it's been a really good afternoon, really. Really pleased. A few fish. Rain wasn't too bad in the end, so good day. See you next time.